Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Pideck, and today we're gonna be slaying. Look at this beautiful, beautiful slay. I do need to fix this up a little bit here, but Maxine Hairstore on Amazon sent me this beauty. Yes, you'll be able to order this one on Amazon Prime. I'll have the direct link in the description box, but she's this gorgeous 26 inch straight lace wig. This is a real HD lace wig, hence the beauty in the hairline. Today I opted for no parting, so that's going to be fun. I am still in the process of getting it together because you guys know I'm rambling with the kids. They're begging to go to Chipotle on the other side of this store so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see the entire start to finish install be sure to check the description box on your way out again she is nice she is long she is beautiful i'll have all the details on what i have specifically in the description box so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it jumping right into it let's go ahead and begin the customization process i'm going to just take this concealer palette from ruby kisses and add it along the hairline inside the lace this is going to help the hairline to blend a little bit more with my complexion as it warms up this is what the wig looks like on and you guys already know one of the first steps once i put a wig on is to what remove the ear tabs and excess lace around the ears now this is going to help the wig to custom fit my head this is something that you can only do to your own head so if you're a stylist you wouldn't cut the lace around the ears around your head you would cut it around your client's head and then this is what the wig looks like from the back she is 180 percent density she is a 13 by 4 real hd lace wig you have the full lace which means from ear to ear you can part whatever you'd like and i love that for me i am going to go ahead and just open up the hairline a little bit she was really nicely pre-plucked but sometimes even when it's pre-plucked it kind of still has like a more uniformed um pattern and i like to break that up to make it look a lot more um natural and you guys know nobody's hairline is perfect these days so just making it look a little bit more imperfect and not necessarily much thinner now let's go ahead and apply the wig i did use the even adhesive and i'm gonna do what everybody else does which is to bond the wig down while the excess lace is attached i applied a thin layer let it get tacky applied the lace over top and kind of just smushed it in once it got tacky enough to let go i added a little bit more just to make sure that it was fully bonded down and then i secured it with a melt belt from bdecbitty.com while that proceeds to dry i'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like as a center part again we have four inches of parting space to work with but we can go from ear to ear so that is amazing you guys know me and if it's not if it's me doing the hair tutorial i'm gonna apply the heat protectant after i've already applied heat but this time i was right on time so i added my chi heat protectant to the ends this is going to help to secure and protect the ends from any excess damage it also to me just adds a little bit of shine and if your hair is a little bit like staticky like when it's super freshly washed it'll kind of help to tame it a little bit in my opinion now that we've silk pressed the ends with our baby list flat iron let's go ahead and remove that excess lace around and we are using an eyebrow razor if you do not have one of these i'll have mine linked in the description box i go from ear to ear and make sure that all the excess lace is cut off and as you guys can see for me it just leaves a cast that you have to fix when you do it this way when i cut the lace off first i don't have this problem maybe i just need to practice this way also i feel like i have to go back in and like add that adhesive a second time and like like blow dry don't have to do two steps when i do it my way but i'm going to continue because obviously there is a reason the girls love to do it this way more now i'm just going in and making sure i pull out what i want to designate as baby hair and sideburns you guys know my go-to is two swoops one above each arch of the eyebrow leaving a gap in between and then i also like to do the little sideburn swoops on the side so that's exactly what i did now the next time i do this i think i'm going to try and make it more look instagram-ish by making it even thicker and fuller to me it's a whole lot when you do it that way but mine are definitely tame compared to some of the ones i see on instagram but I just want to try it out for myself and see if I like it. I like to go in and add the edge control and you know make sure the hairline is super flat and thin and neat and straight and then I also kind of went in and did the same thing with the actual sideburns where I kind of pressed them out with the wax um, the wax stick on top 
Then I went ahead and cut them at an angle, kind of going forward in the front and making the front part the longest. I'm adding my edge control along the base of the um, baby hair. And then I'm just gonna take the back end or the comb end of my baby hair brush and just form it into baby hair. You can definitely do your wispy baby hair if you choose. I just felt like, I didn't feel like trying to burn my forehead today. I was like, not today. Sometimes if it's not forming, like typically straight hair um, will be a little bit more stubborn when it comes to forming your swoops. I like to add a little bit of that same even adhesive kind of to the base again, and then I'll drag it through the ends. And that definitely, like if your edge control isn't getting what you need, the um, even spray definitely will because it's a lot more sticky as it gets dry and then i'm going to repeat the steps that i did on the um baby hairs for the sideburns and just continue to guide the hair using that second hand to kind of like hold the hair in place and kind of just get the shape that i like I definitely think I did an amazing, amazing job at this. You can definitely add your milk belt at this point to kind of just smush everything together and make sure it is like super, 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 super melted. I went in with that same foundation brush I used in the beginning of this video. Um, as you guys can see, that product was a little bit too light on the outside. So I am using my actual foundation brush to kind of fix that. And you can see I didn't fix it completely, but I definitely will after the fact. I actually ordered a new palette of that um, concealer I use underneath in a darker shade. So hopefully that'll be here this week and it'll be a lot more perfect for my complexion. Here I'm taking my mom's favorite serum and I'm adding it mostly to the crown of the ends and just kind of re-straightening the hair because I added that product that's going to really stamp it in and give it that silky silk silk press look let me know what you guys think of this one this one is sold on Amazon and I have a direct link in the description box and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it all details there are there as well stay tuned for the end of the video to find out the unboxing and all the tea and how I felt about this hair okay baby so we are done with the look love it i feel like i look so beautiful right now i am definitely feeling it and this one came from amazon so i was sent this one by maxine hair let me pull up the specs so pulling it up on the website this is actually amazon this one is a 180 percent density 13 by 4 real hd lace wig this one is so beautiful i believe i have 26 inches if it's not 26 i promise you guys i'll have the the exact dimensions and all that in the description box as well as a direct link but we love a good amazon situation because we all have our cards already set we have the app on our phones and so it's easy to just click the direct link in the description box Go to your Amazon, press checkout, and you already good to go. So I love this for you, and I love this for me. And yeah, it's also available for Prime. Now, as I did mention, this is Real HD Lace, and look how beautiful the lace is. I did minimally tweeze out the hairline. I literally just did a little bit because I wanted to make sure the hairline was open, and I think that it came amazing, and I did an even amazing job or even more amazing job at executing it i've got to buff out the foundation because i did use something at first that was like too light so if you see that little white cast i apologize i'll definitely go ahead and fix that this is the packaging if i did not show it already this one is 26 inches as i already mentioned they did give us some free goodies in the box this is really cool it's like a tape in or not a tape in but like a clip in extension and it's synthetic but it's just something fun to add the hair is long so that will look really cute with that it did also include like a headband. Really nice to just have these, especially for like when you want to pull your hair back to go to the gym. This is also like a twilly style headband. Perfect for just pulling your hair back up and giving style. A little mink lash and then also some wig caps. Okay, before we go, let me show really quick what it looks like from the back. So yeah, go ahead and check the description box if you haven't already. In addition to the link, you'll also find details on everything we use to complete this look, including the infamous Mayel oil that everybody has been raving about. I got that on Amazon Prime as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!